I asked some friends what would be the most challenging place in the United States to find old cars. And universally they said, New York City. So here we are. I'm not sure how many old cars are hidden, but we're gonna try to do our best to try to find cars that maybe have been forgotten about as people take more bicycles, taxis, Ubers, lifts, subways, trains, and buses. I hope you enjoy it. When we decided to come and do a, a series of barn find shows in the New York area, I called a friend. I called Rob Ida. Now, you may have heard of Rob Ida. Uh, I think there's a lot of things that Rob Ida is, an auto stylist, fabricator, but I think he's a hot rodder, and I think that's probably what he'd want to be known as more than anything, a hot Thanks, rodder. Tom. Yeah, that's true. I do love hot rods, and uh, that's kind of what brought us here today. Um, Walter and Kathy Caro, um, lifelong friends. I was just a kid when I would know them at, at car shows and things when I'd go with my family. Sadly, Walter passed away this year. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, one thing that we always knew about Walter is that he had great cars, but he made his living in the motorcycle world. But I always heard about bikes in his living room, in his basement, these like very special motorcycles. He would buy them and he'd put them down there. And some of these bikes have been there for 30 years. And they're, some of them are almost brand new. They were collectible pieces that he had no intention of selling. So they would go in the basement and just kind of be forgotten about. So did he ride these bikes in Staten Island to bring them to shows or, or they just kind of sat? Well, he had a dealership in Staten Island for like custom bikes and used bikes. And with that, the love for bikes was a separate thing, and that was his, his ah. collection here. So these bikes were not really part of his business. These were his personal, his personal love. And Kathy and Walter were always together. Anytime I saw Walter, I saw Kathy. They did everything together. They went to car shows and bike shows. So she knows as much about these motorcycles as I think Walter did. I just want to show you that, you know, you could ride down this suburban street, and it could be in Staten Island, or it could be in Illinois, it could be in, in, in Oregon and pass a house like this and you'd never know what's on the, in the, on the inside. And you say the basement is filled, huh? It's full. I mean, it is absolutely jam-packed with special bikes. Well, let's go talk yeah. to her. Hello. Rob, introduce us to this, this fine woman. Hey, this is Kathy, who I've known you know, <laughs> yes. most of my life. And I love her so much. And uh, so she was kind enough to have us here at the house to show you her, her bike collection that her and her late husband Walter put together over a lifetime and I think that you're going to see some really special stuff in the basement, in the garage, in the dining room, in the living room. I mean, they're just Thank you. full Hi. of beautiful things. No bikes. problem. Enjoy having you. He would have loved this. Well, he, he is loving this. it. Yes. Yep. So what are you going to show us here? I oh, heard you got a couple of bikes. Oh, I have a couple. <laughs> I got more than 40 bikes. <laughs> so when you have, when you have Thanksgiving have dinner, to, you have it right here with the yep. surrounded by Harley Davidson. Surrounded by the Harleys. You'll, as you come into this room, you'll see this 1911 LA police bike. Now, how got, long have he, you had something like that? Oh, he's got, he used to go out on the road. We used to, in the 90s, we used to sell a lot of bikes over to Europe. And because that's when their money was oh, cheaper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, and they could buy the stuff. And as he did, he would go through the one ads. He found this magazine and he found one, this bike and he tells me, oh, I only paid $2,000 for this yeah, bike. Okay. <laughs> it had a thing, it was, it was, I'm not sure if this is the one that was in a Harley uh, shop or not, but he picked it up and he brought it home. Not sure if this is the one that was in a Harley uh, shop or not. So this has been in the house. It ran. He took it to a couple of car shows, and he would ride up in how he. You have to pedal the thing to start it. Yep. And he had that. Then behind you is a '26 um, board tracker. And if you look at this, the sprockets on the back wheel. Yep. It it all depend on if it was a short track or a long track. They just switch the wheel. So you got a sprocket on this side, yeah. and this would be a larger sprocket, so it would be a taller, so it would go, this would be for a higher for the speed. For long speed, yes, and a, lo and a longer track, and the other one was for the short one. 
So you know all these years. You know oh, all the Oh, yeah, I know all the years. Wow. A lot of that. Well, we've been, we've been, always went to the swap meets. He's had the motorcycle shop since 73. Mm -hmm. That's a 50 Wizard that he had, and you still got a pedal. This is the pedal car room. <laughs> oh. Well, not this one, not the 26. As you, then there's be, behind you, we have the 1910 that we bought from a friend of ours. That's a 1910 Harley, a uh, uh, silent gray uh, fellow. That's what they call them. So this is a 10, and what this, year is it? That's a 26, okay, and this so, is an 11. So that had a chain, this had yes, a leather belt. this is the belt. The belt drive ones, you had a pedal to start the motors up. This we had gotten from a friend of ours years ago, and Walter, he, the guy, needed some help. We helped him and the guy wanted the bike. We, we offered the bike back. He said no. So we've had that for about 30 years. And this is it. And this is a picture of him from the 90s and our worker Richie. And that's one of the women that we were selling the bikes to years ago in uh, Germany. Oh, jeez. We go in here. If you want to see any of this, this is um, an old picture from the Gypsy Tour. <coughs> from, uh, when is it, 1941. As you see, we have a lot of pictures. We, I don't know if you want me to mention. Who, who's this chick? This is Lady Gaga. <laughs> we, they did a, a show with her on New York, uh, one of the, the, the shows in the morning, and she used our 59 Cadillac. Oh. And she, she loved it, and my nephew was the driver. Pictures of my husband and stuff. Mm. But all the thing. Then we got one pitch with him with Dom DeLuise, belly to belly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. And that's when we opened the shop in 73. Now, I'm seeing a, a, a beautiful in. bike in oh. here. <laughs> now we're in the living room. This <laughs> is a Vincent Black Shadow. The back nameplate has even uh, Ed Roth, Big Daddy Ed Roth, Big Daddy signed, Ed Roth? signed it for us. We were oh, good friends of him, too. This is 1950. If you look at the speedometer, they do, were doing 150 miles an hour in the 50s. Oh, I remember. There's, there's great pictures <laughs> of a guy lying on here with a bathing yes. suit at Bonneville. Mm -hmm. Yeah, wow. I mean, Vincent's were the bike. That was yes. the bike. And I remember, you know, they're always distinguished by his huge speedometer. They were fast, they handled well, amazing. There's yes. been songs written about these. And this this is your art when your art in your living that's, room. That's it, living room, it's a piece of art in here. Well, okay, so oh. what room are we going to next? We'll go down, and it, right now, this is Walt, where Walt is resting right now, <laughs> in the Indian gas tank. His ashes that's are in there? That's a 1940 Indian gas tank. His, yeah, his ash ashes are in that. Oh my God. Yes. But these are his cars. We have, like, if you'll see them outside, that's the 1948 Caddy. This is the 56 pickup, which is in here right now. It's getting worked on. That's a Cameo pickup. Isn't yes, it? Mm. Cameo. And you'll see all these cars in the garage. Let's go. Oh, man. Today's sponsor is Consumer Cellular. They reached out to us because they, they dig barn finds, but they also dig barn find people like you. They know the money that you save each month on your cellular plan, you could invest in your barn find. New wheels, tires, rebuild that motor. It's a no brainer. So to save money for your next project car, check out the link in the description below. This is his, this was his dream garage. So when did he build this? Uh, we've had the garage about 10 years. Yeah, we, so we had a Steve McQueen in 19, uh, 11 Steve McQueen motorcycle that was in the, used to be in the living room, and that's how we got the garage. It's, that bike now is in the Peterson Museum in, in California. So you sold that bike and built this to garage? To build the garage. Ah, <laughs> man. Yes. This is the 59 Cadillac. Now, how long is, oh, have you this, owned these cars? This, the 59 Cadillac, <laughs> we've had to have this almost 40 years. It's beautiful, and when the top is down, it's... It's like you think, when you're driving, you think there's somebody behind you. Now, do you ever drive it? That's yes. You I'll drive, drive it. this. Yeah, I drove all the cars. And it, you can open the doors, Tom, and it's comfortable. It's very comfortable <laughs> to sit in and enjoy. It's a nice cruiser, and when the top's oh, yeah. down. Oh yeah. This I've never is driven going one. Going to Asbury these. Park soon. Soon as yes. So Lady Gaga was in the back seat here. Lady Gaga was in the back seat with a paper paper dress. The, Car above is a 1948 Cadillac. Is that a hot rod? Yeah, it is, Rob. 
That one, you did the work on this one. Um, I did something. Some, some of it yeah. with the, that, the front suspension. This is like, it lows, it, it goes uh -huh. all the way down to the floor. It's like a low rider. Oh, right. So Rob, is this late model drivetrain or what? I think it's got a small block Chevy in that uh -huh. yes. carburetor. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and a Mustang style front it's suspension, right here. air okay. conditioning, right? Yeah. So how long have you had that one? That's, that one we had about 30 years. We drove them all over the place. The mm -hmm. newest car in here is my 51 Merc Coupe. And that's yours? That's mine. Oh, right. <laughs> that one has got an um, LS crate motor, I think it is. It's loud, noisy. <laughs> <laughs> this you... was a friend of ours built this over 30 years ago. He never used it. He used it maybe twice, and he sold it to another friend, and the friend knew Walter wanted the car. All right, Kathy, if I ask you nicely, would you start this for us? It oh, says yeah. noisy. Oh, yeah, start. Oh, yeah. Yeah, ready whenever you are. If it starts, if you want, we can back it out. That's good. That's good. Sounds good. That's good. And this is some of the bikes now you can see. This is the Indi Indians. Okay, uh, so what do we got one, here? The white one is, I think it's, that's a friend of ours. That's a 40 Chief. That was his dad's. Runs good. They, um, and this one is a 41 Military, military. Chief. Military, yep. This one here is a 36 Indian Chief. And it's, they're all, they haven't been running. They've been just, say he bought them years ago. Use them sometimes, but the past three years he really was couldn't do too much mm -hmm. since COVID. This one is a '53 electric start. Love the more. We love all motorcycles. Yep. You know. And so, what, what what's our lineup over there? Okay, the lineup over here. <laughs> these are knuckleheads and panheads. That uh -huh. one is a '40. This is a '41. This is this a '38. This is a '38. Um, 52 pan head that's 52, that's and this a is a 55 pan head and those were his little swap meet bikes <laughs> <laughs> there's little hondas and that's it sidecars are 47 and this that's is a, a knucklehead one of the we have some of the bikes are for sale some we have people that are interested but uh, some of them i'm not ready to let go yet i get i get it you know, what, but, what what would be one you would that's not sell. for sale. This one, this one is for sale, the 47 knucklehead. The Indians you saw over there, those are all for sale. Oh, the, not the white one. The white one is the only one that's not for sale. That's not my bike. Come on, we'll all go down the basement. All right. This is a 50 Merc convertible. Wow. This is another one we've only had for, for the past three years. enjoy our YouTube videos and have been wondering how you can help support their creation, consider joining the Haggerty Drivers Club, which includes a subscription to Haggerty Magazine, unlimited access to our valuation tool, exclusive offers and rewards with reputable brands in the automotive industry, 24-7 roadside assistance with flatbed towing, early access and VIP perks to select Haggerty member events, and unlimited classified listings with no additional fees. You can find the link in the description below. So three years, no kidding. This one, yeah, this is the Merc. Is that black? This is black, all red interior. It's got a push button, but you gotta, that's why I leave the windows open. The red in, red pleated interior. So where did you get this car? Walter saw an ad in, in, the, one, in the marketplace. Facebook marketplace? Facebook no. marketplace, saw it there. He called the guy up. The guy goes, well, I got a couple of people that are on. He goes, listen, I'm coming there right now. This here is a 19, family. 39 Indian four-cylinder. Four-cylinder, check this out. So, I mean, how many bikes have you seen with a four-cylinder of this vintage? Is this one you bought like this or? This th way he bought it. Just he like this. He loved the, he loved the no skirts. You'll yep. see the end, the, the, between the other ones, the other ones of the 1940 have the full skirts. Now, I'm not a bike guy. These are half. But, but this this is a hardtail, right? Pre, yes. This is a hardtail, it's got no rear suspension. suspension. Yep. So the suspension, is the yes. seat of your pants right here. This this has got some yeah. springs on it. Spring seat, spring seat, yeah. yeah. This one here, an XR1000. Mm -hmm. I think it's in the 70s. I don't know all of the years of the mm -hmm. bikes. This bike was owned by Malcolm Forbes. Really? Yes, he bought this from the dealership. Um, 
he was, I forgot which, it was a dealership in New Jersey. Walter, they knew that Walter wanted bikes that belonged to people, and we wound up getting this bike. Wow, so does it have low mileage or something? What? <laughs> 53.4 miles. Oh, I'm sorry, I read the odometer. It's got 4,449 miles. Yeah, yeah, and it's got the two carburetors on the bike. I see that, upswip exhaust, yeah. Yep. Okay, Superglide. This one's a 72 Superglide Night Train. A lot of people in the, see how the back tail, the tail oh, piece. Oh, yeah. A lot of them, when it came out, it's like a cafe racer. They came out before their time. A lot of people would buy them and put regular seats and, fend, and put these seats away. <laughs> these and this seats, was never touched? This, this one has miles on it. Yeah, 371. Yeah. <laughs> Oh no, 15,600, 15, okay. yeah. But I see what you mean about the... The, 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 the bow tail, the, the they rear call fin. it a bow tail. This one is a Daytona, and this one only has, they only made so many of them. Whoa. This one has no mileage. 2.1 miles. Yes, they only made 1,700. The number's like 800 and, what is it? Oh, I see 700. Eight, 800, oh, 849. 849 is the number. They only made 1,700 It says not for sale, personal bike. Yes. So that paints, the one, graphics, everything. This is, is a, it, they called it sand. It was named the Daytona for Daytona sand and ocean. Oh, wow. That's the colors. These are the four cylinder. This one is a 1941, the green one. This one here is its pride and joy. This started him on the Indians. No. This is it, a 1940. So if you look at this 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 light up front here. Yep, they all they lights up the whole. So there's light the up. Indian face. Yep. And then here's the Indian Indian headdress. And this was his pride and joy. This started so, him. This one will never get sold. So see these fender skirts. This is the full fender. Shh. This is like yes. Art Deco. Yep. Man, shifter on the right, shifter on the left. Yep. Isn't that something? Yep. It's different way. That's just yeah. side switch. And isn't there a thing where Harleys and Indians have different brakes? Like one is the brake on the left, one's, one's the brake the on the right? And one's, yes. And it's hard to switch yep. in your mind which one you're oh, on. Oh, yeah, you, when you get on. And then if you really go nuts, this is the prime one. This is the 36 knuckle. This first is year. the first year knuckle. And how you could tell the 36 knuckle heads? When you look at the motor, on the motor, there's two rivets right on the front, on the, I think that's the timing cover. This one here behind you is the Indian dispatch tow. Oh man, I'm gonna so that's your business. You, that was the business, but I'm gonna show you pictures of what this looked like before he had it done. So that's, that's wood, huh? This is what this thing looked like before Look at that. this say? was done. Falbert it was a, a Buick, Buick dealership. Huh. He bought this. He bought this thing a while ago, and when they did the whole interior, did this, I do it, before they put the metal on. They used all different woods. It looked like a piece of furniture. And so this is like a delivery vehicle. This is a delivery. This is what they used to Indian. If they had dealerships, some they would put a, a a box on the back sometimes, and they'd pick up the bikes and put other bikes on behind it and sit on it. So is this the clutch? This is. Uh, yes. Clutch? Yes, that's the clutch. That's the clutch. Yeah. Shifter. So you have to push the clutch on and you have to push it off. Yes, and it's basically like driving a car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 1940, no kidding. Huh. And this must be the brake, okay. Yeah, and so we have another army bike. This is a Harley knucklehead. The one in the garage is a chief Indian. He just, he's had this one. This one, we went to a car show on the Intrepid. And this bike, I have pictures of this bike up on the, on the deck with the helicopters and stuff on it. My nephew was riding it. And then we got more bikes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. This so, one he bought from, he, years ago he went, went to, he was in, on his way back from Daytona, they stopped at Don Garlett's place was having a swap meet. And he bought the bike from, from Don Garlett. They, they gave Don Garlett this bike when he was, uh, won a race. So Walter liked it and it was cheap enough. It was a Suzuki and he bought this. This one is another 72 <coughs> nitrine. This is an electric start one. So it's like that one over there. The okay. one over there. And that's a kickstart? But this one is electric start yep. and it's got more chrome on it. That mm -hmm. one is all black. And over here. <laughs> oh, look at this, a and baby. As you can see, he, every time he went to Daytona, he brought home beer. <laughs> This is a little pacer. 
Now this, that's a, a baby is, Harley. Yes, it's a little bit a baby Harley. That's a little piece. Now is that made for an adult or a child? That or? was a regular, like a woman's bike. Mm -hmm. They made the little pa pacer. The blue one next to it is a 65 panhead. So w like which one did he like to drive the oh, he, ride, he, ride the motor? He used to ride them all the time. But when he used to go to Daytona, he always took the four cylinder. So did you go to bike weeks with him? Oh, then? I went to bike week with him. We went to Sturgis. We, uh -huh. had, a, we had a good time. I want to thank Rob Ida for turning us on to this amazing collection in Staten Island. Kathy, thanks so much for allowing oh, us to come here. No problem. And, he, and visit your basement. He would have loved it. He yeah. would have loved it. And your name is? Rich. Rich what? Elite. Elite. thanks so nice much for helping you. starting that car. And you're? No problem. Max. Max what? Decker. Decker. And so these guys are helping Kathy clean out their uh, motorcycle shop and bring it here, doing inventory so they can sell all these supplies and things. But besides being a wonderful story, um, about a man and his passion and how his family and friends have kind of all come together to uh, respect what he put together over his lifetime. You could ride down any street in suburban America and pass a house that looks just like this anywhere in the United States and not know what's inside. A great collection of cars, motorcycles, but best of all, a great story. Happy hunting.